one time for the coast. Light one, nigga, smoke. Shoot clutch, never choke. Hey, four time on the road. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Anthony, and we're back here again. You know, we got another video, and uh, today we're gonna be talking about my hair. As y'all can see, um, a retwist is very, very due. I'm either gonna try to retwist myself or my lactation gonna retwist it, but either way, it's gonna re get retwisted because I can't be walking around here shaggy. A lot of people might like, they, they might like say like, oh, messy dreads look good, frizzy dreads look good. My style, bro, like it's not, I can't have no frizzy dreads. So like, I gotta have that retwist often. Just cause like, they don't look, I, I feel like they don't look right. Frizzy and look like they're all clumped together. But they're, they're dreaded though. Like they're definitely dreaded. So I'm gonna either try to retwist these myself and uh, y'all get a little video on that or my electrician gonna twist it. Anyway, today we're gonna be talking about like some of the reasons I wanted dreadlocks. And I already had did this video. It was one of my first videos. But like, I just feel like I was really weird and like just getting used to the camera. The tips I'm giving y'all is like, and my hair is longer, so it's like, I can really give y'all better tips. Cause like my hair was longer. Cause in that last video, my hair was literally like this long. A little bit more like time and experience and a little bit more um, knowledge about my hair. So I can like get that same knowledge to you guys better. Yeah, that's why I'm redoing this video. Reasons I wanted dreads. Um, there's a couple different reasons. The first one is like, uh, I always wanted long hair. Like ever since I can remember, ever being a kid, I've always wanted my hair long. Most of my family members on my um, on my mom's side have dreads. Like my little sister got dreads, my little cousin got dreads, my big cousin got dreads. And if they don't got dreads right now, then they had dreads before. Like I remember my little brother, he started his dreads with the little sponge thing. And the reason my mom's side all got dreads, or family members all have, mostly have dreads is because um part Jamaican you know what I'm saying like my great grandma and grandpa they came from the island Jamaica you feel me and then so yeah they were born on the island you feel me so like we just taking pride in our culture you know what I'm saying and growing out our hair getting dreadlocks pretty much the uh one of the main reasons that I wanted to grow out my hair I I personally think that like they just give you a unique look you know what I'm saying and like I know there's a lot of stereotypes and shit that come with dreadlocks, but I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about your look in general. Like I just told y'all, most people in my family had dreadlocks. Well, none of their dreadlocks look the same, and that go for everybody in the world. Like nobody in the world has the same two sets of dreadlocks. Like everybody's dreadlocks are completely unique and different. They make you stand out and kind of make you have like a rebellious look. I feel like. And that's kind of like, just goes along great with my personality. The third reason, I kind of touched on this in my last video, but I'm gonna just go ahead and recap on it again. Dreadlocks, they kind of teach you patience, you know what I'm saying? Cause no matter what, you can twist and like, add all this shit to your hair and all that and woo woo but your hair is gonna lock when it wants to lock. Like there's nothing you can really do besides doing the regular maintenance and waiting. That's all you can do. You have to be patient with dreadlocks. And you can kind of apply that same patience to um, other areas in your life where you have to be patient. You know what I'm saying? So it just kind of teaches it just kind of teaches me patience and how I have to be patient with my hair because I know that my hair gonna lock and grow at the rate it's gonna grow no matter what I do to it. But on top of that, my hair has been growing freaking crazy, crazy fast. And there's always this one every time I grow my hair out, my hair gets long on the inside. Look at that, it's so long. I tuck it behind my ear. Yeah, but my hair has been growing crazy fast. My hair is locked now. Now, check off the list, check off the list. Now the next problem is getting rid of this frizz. And I think I just need to use some better product because last time I went to go buy product, um, they didn't have the regular product I used, which is just, you know, Jamaica Mango and Lime, if you know, if you, know about dreads and you know about Jamaica mango and, lime, mango and lime and you know that that shit works good like it works wonders but last time I went they were out of that so I just been on these last few retwists I've been using that um what they call it that can too my personal thing or my personal opinion it's not good for twisting dreads you know what I'm saying because like my hair will get frizzy in like a week or had to re be redone in a week 
And like, I know that's from like my personal life and sweat and shit, but the, just the Jamaica Mangan and Lime just uh, held it and made my hair dread really better. The last reason, honestly, I wanted to have dreadlocks is because like, I already had dreadlocks before, what you want to call them, like the little sponge thing joints or whatever, but they wasn't really good. Didn't really put no effort into them. So, and I would always wear a hat and shit. Just do everything you don't want to do when you have dreadlocks. Washed them out and all types. Of Did all that on my first go around. So this go around, I'm a, I've had all that mistakes so I can know what not to do on these, on this set of dreads. You feel me? And it's been working good. Yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Uh, I just wanted to go like a little bit more in depth of why I wanted dreadlocks and like explain a little bit better. So if you like my content, please drop a like on this video. Subscribe so you can get more of my content. I don't do just dread videos. I also do story times. And that's just kind of like a whole nother different vibe, you dig? So if you like story times, go ahead and check out some of my story times. And uh, follow my Instagram at RoyTV. It's the same as my YouTube channel. Catch you guys in the next video. Every day did the words that I pray for the soul of my